just a quick video for today. I wanted to bring up something that Reggie fils said in a recent interview about the Nintendo Switch. In fact, what he alludes to is the fact that there are actually Nintendo Switch games in 2017 that are not announced yet that should be releasing this year. We obviously don't know if it's first or third party, but he said this in an interview with Waypoint. So let's just get into the question and his response that led to this. So Waypoint goes, So Reggie, great to see you again. E3 2017 is here. And for me, the big push for Switch this year, for Nintendo this year, was at least the spotlight. Was, hey, we have Switch games coming. We have a lot of games coming this year. A lot of them are multiplayer focused. And by the holiday, we will have a really respectable catalog. And then there were also a few gestures towards the future. Yoshi, Kirby, Metroid Prime 4, and Pokemon. And I'm curious what you have thought of the response to those promises so far. Has that been largely positive or mixed? Or then Reggie fils responds, the response to what we showcased, and it really is just a small tip for 2018, has been exceptionally positive. You've got fancy in Metroid Prime 4, hearing that Mr. Tanabe, who's been involved in all of the Metroid Prime games, is going to be at the helm of that. The fans are tremendously excited. <laughs> That's an understatement, let me tell you. Uh, to hear that there's going to be a core Pokemon RPG experience on the Nintendo Switch, the fans are incredibly excited. To see a traditional Kirby experience with him inhaling enemies and copying abilities, fans are excited about that. And then the Yoshi game that we showcased with the unique, you know, motion to go behind the scenes, so to speak, has people really intrigued. So just by showcasing those four games and giving a little bit of a taste, yeah, there's a lot of excitement to what 2018 can hold. But to be clear, we look at E3 in the here and now. Our focus is on games that are largely going to be available between now and the end of the holiday season. And when you look at that lineup, there's a strong game coming literally every month. Starting tomorrow with ARMS, and then Splatoon 2, and then in August with Mario Plus Rabbids, September, October with Super Mario Odyssey. We've got that great pace of content. And I can tell you there's more to be announced. There you have it. Reggie fils is telling you they have more games to announce for 2017. This comes at the end of a paragraph that's talking about the here and now. We obviously don't know if these games are first party, third party, indie games. No idea, but when we throw up this graphic, which I'll throw up right now, that shows the current lineup for Switch and 3DS for the rest of this year and heading it a little bit in the next year, what we see is that the list for Switch, while it has all these games, is not complete. There is more games coming that we don't know about. That suggests that we could have a Nintendo Direct as soon as next month. We could have one in a couple months. You know, maybe they want to do it after Splatoon 2 comes out. Whatever the case may be, it sounds like there's more content coming, more surprises. And that's uh, we're already in a pretty jam-packed year from Nintendo's side of things, right? Like, Nintendo is releasing a ton of games on Switch this year, a ton of big games. And they've already got a slew of big games kind of coming for next year with Fire Emblem and Yoshi and Kirby that we know for sure is coming next year. Plus, we know they're working on Metroid. I... It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. But I just wanted to give a quick update and let everyone out there know that, yes, there are more games coming to Switch in 2017. I I, I have no clue what they are, but uh, I can't wait to find out. Anyways, this is Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. If you'd like to support us, you could go to patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Uh, if you, I believe the $5 tier is where you gain early access to our podcast. So you get the full audio podcast every single Sunday ahead of the public who gets everything on YouTube split up over five days a week. Otherwise you can just like this video. If you liked it, subscribe for more videos like it in the future. And obviously I will just catch you in the next one.